Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love of Games. Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to play a little bit of Saints Row uh, today. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to get right to it. So, uh, let me over here and bring us in. We, uh, we're going to try to clean up some areas, do some missions, and uh, get rid of some threats. Because we've got tons of threats. So first of all, let's kill him. Alright, got them down. Later, Gator. I won't take that line down. Oh. Oh. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I thought it was take out the gang, and I realized it was take out the gang cars. That was nothing. Oh. I'll be taking out three. Oh, you're gonna die now. Dude, I'm about to die. There we go. That was nothing. Very close to dying multiple times. Alright. 
We got an ap aperture test right over here. We're gonna go see what this is. Your alpha test. This is test 42.1 alpha of product HE17-5DI. What is this, some kind of football? It's a high explosive device with adhesive target interface and kinetically triggered rocket propulsion system on ignition delay. So not a football then. First, we'll test the adhesive target interface. Touch each tester with the device. We'll see if it sticks. Oh, cool. Definitely not a football. We call it the Thrust Buster. Are they gonna be okay? Our QA testers are professionals. There's nothing they can't handle. That's badass. Please continue. Okay, got them all. What's next? Next, we'll test the kinetically triggered rocket propulsion system. This time, you'll throw the device at each tester. I've got a pretty good arm. Balancing the projector so it can be deployed at range is one of the harder problems we've had to solve. But I think we're close. I really should have been a quarterback. They deserve that. <laughs> so what would this do to something bigger, like a car? That would be stage three. Hold on. I just got word that Marshall's on their way. Is there any tech we didn't steal from Marshall? Sure, but it's all in pre-pro. Then how about another field test? Let's do it. Telemetry is live. Do you think that hurt? Right to the face. Oh. Hit them at their flank. I won't ah. take that line down. Good. Keep that data coming. Down, damn it. That one had to hurt. We have a few bugs to fix, as expected. Fail early, fail often, right? You gotta die for that! <laughs> Was this another cancelled project? Yeah. Marshall couldn't get it to fly straight. That's not a bug, it's a feature. Sometimes, innovation's about seeing what's right in front of you. My arm's getting tired. Stay in the game. You're first in goal. Those for breakfast. Got enough data yet? Yeah, we're good. Mind if I keep this? Hey, you earned it. Thanks again. That was pretty cool. 
I'm not a football person myself, but if it attaches to somebody, makes them fly and explode, then heck yeah. That's our last test for now. Stop by the incubator when you get a chance. Alright, so we got one over here. The wingsuit challenge over there. Bing, bing, aperture test. Just don't hit me with the train. The shit hurts. Yeah. Crazy is how these pallets of drugs actually landed. Like, there's no way that could have just Jackpot. casually landed there. Somebody would have had to put it there, or those concrete pipes weren't there. It's my lucky day. All right. So from here, we'll run up to this one. Like before, I put out any more buildings. I really want to clear up the territories my buildings are in, so I start making way more money. Because this, oop. let's see. Exactly where I was wanting to go, but let's try to get out of here. Freeze! Get your hands up! You are really grinding my gear. I'm like stuck in a tree. Jump over a little further down. Looks like your testing put us ahead of schedule, and Marshall might have shut us down if it weren't for you. Let me know if they give you any more trouble. I'm digging this. Just back, we need backup. What's 
So there's a hidden history right next to this thing. Santo Aleso, visit Red Faction Memorial Park in Marina del Lago. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Okay. Did you know? These old tanks were decommissioned in 1998. All tour modernized the facility with robots, a nanotechnology lab, and an orbital laser defense system. Just what every business needs, an orbital laser defense system. Did you know? This iconic water tower was once the command module of a rocket ship designed for interplanetary travel. After the Red Faction uprising in 2001, Altor scuttled the project and sold the property. Too weird, even for me. That scene is a walking gun. Maybe not. This would be a lot safer for everyone if it was me. Can I do this forever? Did you know? In the 1990s, market volatility led to the collapse of the local mining industry. Frank's 8020 declared bankruptcy in 1998, and the Altor Corporation acquired the company. I can't stand this. Woo! I love the hump and pig temporaries. Did you know? The Frank's 8020 Brewery opened its doors in 1902 and was the first industrial scale brewing operation in Santo Aleso, dedicated to serving the thirsty miners and metal workers of Cavanaugh County. Hey, grounded shots on me. Congratulations, you have completed Frank's 8020 Brewery. So Ultor used to own this place. Nice. I wonder whatever happened to them. Don't be it's Nacho Night at Frank's. They might not be the best nachos in town. Three nachos. Can't beat the price. 8 p.m. I never miss Nacho Night. It'd actually be brilliant for bars to do free Nacho Night because nachos make you super thirsty. Yep. Hey, it's Winston. I have a crew that needs your help. Uh, I'm in line for nachos right now. How soon are you thinking? I'm thinking 20 minutes ago. Shit. All right. Send me the address and have him call me. I really wanted those nachos. Drive to the crime scene. Actually a nice bike. I have a motorcycle on my own. I've drove it twice. Never again. I need to sell the thing. Talk to me. Boss, it's MJ. This one's bad. Real, real bad. Deep breaths, MJ. What's going on? So we get to the scene, and I'm talking to the client. Jerry's keeping watch. Then I call Jerry over to check out the car, and all of a sudden, his gun goes off. I shot Melvin in the face, boss. Shut up, Jerry. Okay, calm down. Clean up the bodies. We'll figure out something when I get there. Uh, 
That was pretty cool. All right, let's take it from the top. Melvin's wife was cheating on him with some street thug. He kills the guy and hires us to dump the body in Old Town so the whole thing looks like a mugging gone bad. Then this happens. Someone must have heard the shot. Cops are everywhere. The bodies are in the trunk, right? Give me the keys. I'll finish the job. Thanks, boss. You're saving us. Big time. Don't thank me yet. The money we lost here is coming out of your share. Is there a reason we're getting in and out of the vehicle? Like... It wanted me to just go in on the passenger side, it looks like. So where are we dumping it? Self-storage. Hey! Uh... They fucked this one up pretty good. Oof, so I heard. Got everything you need? Yeah, but Jerry and MJ need to cover our losses. That's fair. I'll take care of it. So a little story about dumping bodies in self-storage. One of the Midwest City developers here in Oklahoma, I just wanted some Ray Finkel, stuff. who's a huge big-time developer uh, and had huge political ties here in Oklahoma, got busted, arrested, and imprisoned until his death. Uh, or, because he ran a self storage lot too, and rented out houses. This spot'll do. Now let's give the car a good beat. He, uh, I can't believe Jerry. One of his tenants killed their daughter. He had them put it into a uh, chest. Oh, crap! Put into a chest. Put into his personal self storage. And then when the cops started fishing around because his tenant's story kept changing on every time she told random people that about her missing daughter for a year, and they came looking, he told his crew at the self-storage to uh, dispose of said body, to throw it into the regular dumpster, which it's in a giant chest of drawers, or not chest of drawers, chest. I like treasure chest, but chest will go to the end of a bed. Well, as soon as uh, they came and dumped the garbage and they smashed it, they found the body hey, at the uh, landfill so immediately. Got everything you need? Yeah, but Jerry and MJ need to cover our losses. That's fair. I'll take care of it. When you squish a body, even if it's been sitting for a while, there are still juices and smell. I just wanted some damn nachos. So, the cops immediately investigated him, found out that he was prostituting out his uh, tenant, who now, he disposed the body game. of her kid for, and, uh, even though he is supposedly shot. happily married, That should do it. Now, how about those nachos? And, uh, so he got busted, died in jail, but he had been busted on, like, three separate attempts of legal money laundering, illegal money scams, uh, investing illegally in certain businesses. So, like, he's already had a huge rap sheet. His poor wife had to deal with that all the way into his death. But yeah, he got busted on several different, multiple times, prostituting his, uh, tenants. Well, that sucks. Guy's name was Ray Finkel. He looks like the Crypt Keeper. Your ride is mine. The side hustles. Oh, it's talking about uh, this stuff. Sideswipe enemy cars, get total airtime, finish with time left.
We're gonna go do another laundry mat. I'll just hot wire it again. Yeah, that's one of the big real estate developers here in Oklahoma. Look him up, Ray Finkel. It, his wife still owns it, but they lived at something called Willow Wind Estates. Supposedly it was for uh, animal rescue and stuff. Like they'd put animals there, but there are no animals there. It literally was just used as a tax write-off for him to scam money from the government. Supposed to be a wildlife refuge. There's a book signing at the art gallery. Wonder what that's about. Post-dialectic futilitarianism and metacapitalist visual representation? Nina loves shit like this. I'll get her a signed copy. I don't understand any of this, but Nina will dig it. You should have brought Nina with you. Hello? Hey boss, I'm sorry, but we got a situation. I'm a little busy at the moment. Jerry and his crew have a big mess on their hands. I'd help them myself, but I'm risk deep in a snitch's brains right now. You're killing me here. Where are they? I'll send you the address. Jerry will call you on the way. I hope they're still signing books when I'm done. You know they're not gonna still be signing books. So we finished out uh, Sandy Kraken. We finished out. Tell me what you got, Aperture. Jerry. She's looking bad. We don't have the crew for a job like this. What's the problem? I never seen so many cops. If we go out there, we'll be spotted for sure. Keep work. I'll be there soon. Got it. Oh, we finished up the tow truck business. Which fuck the tow truck business. You think if you're going to be pulling stuff from the entire area, you'd have either more than one lot or more trucks running around. That sucked. We <laughs> lost a tank, what, once or twice, literally right before the area. What's going on here? This guy went for a joyride with some prostitutes. Things got out of hand, and now he's dead. And this guy is... The district fucking attorney of Santo Eleso. Well, that explains the cops. So what are we gonna do? The DA was going after the idols. Let's stick it on them. Okay, but where do we dump the body? I know a place. Throw me the keys. You're a lifesaver, boss. So, we're framing the idols. But yeah, that was the story of Ray Finkel. Dude's a fucking crazy guy. Or was a crazy guy, like I said. Yeah, he's dead, but he had... Like a pain in the ass. You owe me for this. He had so much money and so many ties to high, uh, high up people here within the state, including the medical examiner. I would not doubt if he faked his death. It'd make more sense if he did. Fuck. The gallery's closing soon. Cutting it close. Dude, why is that cop got to be right there? Nothing in the trunk, officer, except the district attorney. This fight's above my pay. have to make it look like an idol's hit. 
Shoot up the car or something. This is not how I thought my day would go. Now to shoot up the car idle style. Good enough. Let's get that book for Nina. Yeah, but he also had ties to local gang, so it's just really interesting story of a guy. But if you have any interesting figures in your community like that, pack them down or like tell the story in the comment section. It's it's always interesting to hear. It really is. Colorful individuals make up this country. It's much better to walk. The shaft. My trucks are better. This actually doesn't handle very well. Find and destroy gang cars. I could care less about the Saints. That's <gasps> real cute. How you do it? All right. This whole area, there's quite a bit. Let's see, buy, customize, complete. So we have to do something over there. I cut through here? Looks like I can. It is okay to be wrong. Only by being wrong do we learn uh, important lessons to help us be right more of the time. Giving you a chance to walk away alive. More and more of those saints around lately. Next time, bring me one too, will ya? They keep stealing my turn! You're just pissing me off. You gonna die! You think this is a game, motherfucker? It pretty much is. I don't think my vehicle has much, many more things into it. 
trips, that is. You can't even see me. How are you calling for backup? Again, you can't see me. I'm in trouble here. Shit, over the fence. You're not even in this fight. You're too far away to be even seen on the map. to say I'm like all you guys should be dead any type of gun All right, so there's a few different boards here. Don't be sorry, be better. Welcome to the Grand Prix by Lewis Welch Mullane. To learn more about the history of street art in Santo Aleso, visit Beware the Grizzly Bear in Old Town. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. I don't know if I can eat that many tacos just from me. Hey, hey, you don't know unless you try. Eat as many tacos as your body can take. Grand Prix is a street art installation by local sculptor Lewis Welch Mullane. More of the artist's work can be viewed at his studio and gallery in the Rojas Desert. This is fun. Let's see. This extends out quite a ways. My birthday is coming up. My birthday is on January 1st. Did you know? The artist scavenged parts to build these racers from the Scorpion Auto Plant in Smelterville. The factory closed its doors in 1970 when it could no longer compete with more modern facilities. Did you know? Keep it strange, Santo is the official slogan of the Cavanaugh County Independent Business Alliance. And no local artist has done more to keep it strange than sculptor Lewis Welch Mullane. I got better things to do. Oh heck, I didn't see this one. Did you know? The Grand Prix is a celebration of innovation, ingenuity, and industry. These spidery speedsters race to see who will be the first to reach the big juicy orange at the top of the tower. That's a no. Learn from your mistakes. Congratulations, you have completed the Grand Prix.
All right. <laughs> yes! I would look good in purple, though. Everyone looks good in purple. I've yet to ever see somebody who does not look good in purple. I might be lactose intolerant, but I'll never. Woo! This is lit! Actually, I forgot that I had this. Can't be like that, huh? I'm gonna watch you burn! Ah! Ugh. I'm taking cover! Go! Get their side! You threatening me? Yeah, with a punch. Dude, why is the rewind on this so quick? I'm so good, I surprised Y'all motherfuckers are dead now! I did enjoy that. All right. Let's see. So from here, we got another one up here. Wait, do we? Oh, this is the laundry mat. Let's go take out some more. Uh, I think it's Pantheros territory. Yes, I did. On this side. Down for the count. Barely <clears throat> felt that. Thank you. I don't think so. All right, so we got another one over here. That's police surveillance. I'd rather do that one last. The only reason for wanting to do that one last is as soon as you do it, the cops chase you basically throughout your territory. Which wouldn't be bad if you're trying to leave the territory, but when you're in the middle of it, it kind of sucks. Fuck you! 
Strong weapon. Yeah. I don't care who you're calling. That was nothing. Stay on all sides. A bunch of people who like getting hit. Ow, that hurt. It's in Camp Kraken over here. Gonna be uh, generating us way more money. We're not going to be uh, crack a lacking if you catch my drift. Um, this is destroy gang cars. I'm not even seeing a single gang car. I guess this works. More and more of those saints around lately. Fuck him up! Knocking him down. You won't disrespect me like that. Ooh. Where is another gang car? I won't let that slide. Oh, you're gonna die now. Am I? Cause it looks like you just died. There you go, muscle head. Alright. So now we just have police surveillance. And this has one side mission of riding shotgun. Actually, we're right next to riding shotgun. We can see what that is. I'm feeling this. That's good. Feel everything you do. Oh, it's you. Shoot Excuse out me. tires, kill drivers, we met. Yeah, kill enemies we from the rooftop. Once, when I first moved out here, back then you said you worked alone. Back then I did. But now you need my help. I got an arms deal going down with Los Panteros, and something about it don't smell right. I need a higher gun to even the odds if shit goes sideways, sabe? Asking for help takes courage. <laughs> don't push it. Oh, we push it. We push it real good. <laughs> you can climb on the roof while riding shotgun. This gives you more weapon options, but less cover. Destroy enemy vehicles, repair... Right. Your health is low. On the roof, climb inside the hill. We gotta get the fuck out of here. What's going on? I'll tell you in a sec. We gotta move, homie. Can I not change weapons? Am I stuck using a pistol? I'm stuck using a shitty pistol. I can't even use my good pistols. Pantero set me up. They tried to rob me. You drive. I'll shoot. Yo, I got some inventory behind the seat. Help yourself. 
Oh, that's way better. I will take that way over what we're gonna have. Here they come. You ready? Locked and loaded. We're taking you down. Damn things out. Or after Ow. this, I'm going after your mama. By the time I'm through, they're gonna wish they were never born. Ugh. You want to feel that too? Ah! I think I actually have better. They fuck with the wrong guy. Ah! Those motherfuckers! I can't believe they pulled one over on me. Yo, I'm getting too old for running guns. Come on now, you're a legend. You could retire on top. Yo, you think I got a 401k? A cushy state pension. If I could retire, I would have done it a long time ago. What about all those scores? Oh, that money is long gone. I got bad habits and expensive tastes. Or is it the other way around? Be careful with the vehicle. Is but a paltry thing. I read that once. Want to know something funny? I moved to Santa Elisa, want to work for you. Then you wasted your fucking time. Yeah, that's what you said then, too. But things are working out all right. Not from where I'm sitting. Keep shooting. It's true what they say. Never meet your idols. Yo, forget the idols. It's those Panteros who fucked us over. Yo, I'm gonna blow their fucking heads off. Fucking Panteros. Think that's enough to take me down? They ah. deserve that. Ah. By the time I'm through, they're gonna wish they were never born! You oh. think that hurt? Ah. Woo boy, this is gonna hurt! Really? As soon as I get on the roof, you drive into cactuses? We should be in the clear now! I'll let you out here! Till next time, then. I have no idea what bonus objectives we actually got with that one. Ah, oh, we we could have killed more on the rooftop. New opportunities. You need a single vehicle. And I will take the Saints car. Really? I will take the This is my car now. The Seal Clean Pro Carpet Foundation vehicle. Newsflash. Someone has a death list. The idols are suspected in the murder of District Attorney Justin Clark. Clark's body was found in the trunk of a... We're gonna go over here to Buckaroos. I'm having a blast! We already own everything? Yes, we do. Alright, never mind. I just got in the passenger side of a vehicle. Walk away while you can. Really? Hey, Jacob Cabra Tacos. Enemies. 
life. Or a bad enemy to have. You won't hit me with that. Don't need the idols of my territory. Uh, that's not what it is. Uh, mouse button. I actually like the idol's whip. Move swift and without mercy. Welcome to Beware the Grizzly Bear by Nazoni Fisher. To learn more about the history of street art in Santo Aleso, visit the Grand Prix in Rancho Providencia. Listen to every panel on both sites to win a prize. I got flank. Get reinforcements. Did you know? Fisher remained anonymous throughout her career. She installed her work under the cover of darkness to the surprise and occasional horror of the local neighborhood. To the surprise and horror of the Lake Hill neighborhood. Did you know? Nizoni Fisher is now considered one of the most provocative and innovative artists of her generation. Her work is celebrated by creators, critics, and collectors from around the world. Did you know? In this work, the waste products of late capitalist society are assembled into a hungry predator. With its bloody fangs and sharp claws, the bear is poised to rip the viewer to shreds. Damn for the camp! They're exposed on that side! Exhibit of local artist Nazoni Fisher is brought to you by the Cavanaugh County Independent Business Alliance, who remind you to keep it strange, Santo. You're done. You hear me? Send help. Congratulations, you have completed Beware the Grizzly Bear. Nina would be proud of me. Exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Keep it strange, Santo. You know I always do. <clears throat> I need reinforcements. Get, Get that phone out of here. Right there. Uh, Later, uh, Gator. Oh. Clear threats. I thought we already did the threats right here. I thought that's legitly what we were just doing. I mean, that worked. I did one out. I gotta get two more kills with this thing. Your laptop camera and microphone are always out. 
I won't let that slide. I'm not suicidal. Like that fucker. Oh. So good, I surprised myself. I die for the collective. You just did. You won't disrespect me like that. Alright, so this one, shit ton here, still to find. Six discoveries, one side hustle. Is that the side hustle? I thought I did the capture. I guess I didn't. This vehicle's about to go. It won't even let me out. Jackpot. I can put this to good use. Check it out. All right, we're gonna. We got three threats. Got a pitcher opportunity. Go purchase an item at friendly fire. So that'll be our one store. Toxic ways. Don't know if I can do that, but we do need to. Do toxic ways. Um, yeah, we're gonna head back, change out some weapons. So, at this point, I'll call it an episode, I'll change out some weapons, we'll come back, see what we can do in the next episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys soon, God bless.